What is up friends? Today I have an updated tutorial showing how to sideload and enable JIT using stick debug on your iOS 26 device. Let's jump right into it. All right, if you've watched my previous video covering sideloading and JIT on iOS 18, then you'll notice there's a lot of similarities here. We're starting on the sidestore.io page again. I'll have this linked in the description. If you don't wanna follow this video, you can just go through here. I'm basically just walking you guys through this process and explaining it all along the way. Um, the first thing here um, says, to get started, you'll need a PC running Windows 10 or later. Obviously, if you do the Mac version, then it'll give you the Mac requirements, but we're doing Windows 10 for right now. Um, we have the iPad or I iPhone. We're using an iPhone 17 Pro on iOS 26 and an Apple ID. I've made a burner Apple ID just for this. You don't have to do that. Uh, I didn't do that in the past, but I've started using multiple Apple IDs for my devices. Um, we're gonna be downloading the Stas VPN app and a Wi-Fi connection. Uh, Sick Debug also works on cellular, or it doesn't work on cellular, but it works on airplane mode, which I'll talk about later. So we're first going to download Alt Server, Side Store IPA, and iDevice Pair. And then you're also going to download iTunes and iCloud. I already have those installed. If you don't have those installed, I'd be surprised. But if not, that's okay. Just walk through the installers and uh, you might have to restart your PC after that, but make sure you have both those installed. Um, you're going to extract this alt server, this alt installer here. And then go ahead and run the, do this one right here. Uh, I already have it installed, so I'm not going to go through and do that again. But once you have installed that, then we will go back here. And we'll go to step two here. So you're going to want to plug in your device. And I recommend using a, uh, a high quality USB cable. This isn't an Apple branded cable, um, but it doesn't have to be as long as it's high quality and can be connected to the computer and connect your device and you know, everything works properly. That's really all that matters. Um, I've heard some people using very low quality cables, you know, something you might find from a gas station or whatever. I'd avoid something like that because you'll probably run into problems. Um, once you plug it in, you'll be prompted to trust your device on, uh, you'll be prompted to trust your computer on your phone. If, if it's not popping up, then you probably already did it at one point. Now the next step is we're going to launch Alt Server if it's not already running from your start menu. And then you'll see it pop up here. It's this little diamond icon. You're gonna hold shift and click on it and you'll see there's an option to sideload IPA. So we're gonna click that. Now we'll go to our side store IPA file right here. Okay. Now, from here, we're going to enter our Apple ID and our password. Now, the reason why I mentioned using a burner account for this, if you have two-factor authentication set up, I've heard of some people having problems getting that code. I'm not really sure why it doesn't arrive sometimes. So that's why I just use a burner account that doesn't have two-factor authentication set up. And from there... Uh, it, it should just take it right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my information. All right, I have gone ahead and entered that information into my window there, and you'll see it is saying that it is installing. And if we look on our device, in just a moment, it will appear. And there we go, there's our side store. Now if we click on it, it says it's untrusted developer. So we will address that as well. So what we're gonna do from here is go into our settings, go to general. We're gonna scroll down to VPN device management. You're gonna see this pop up. It'll have your email listed there. We're gonna press trust, allow, and there we go. Now what we're gonna do, go out of this, go down to privacy and security, scroll all the way down, you should see developer mode. Go ahead and turn that on. And then it'll say you need to restart your device. Go ahead and do that. And we are rebooting. Okay. Now when it has rebooted, you'll see it'll show this screen. You're going to swipe up, enable, 
enter your pin code and there we go. And when it is all rebooted, then you should be back to your home screen. Now, the next step here is to create our pairing file. Now, if your device doesn't have a passcode already, which it probably does, um, but if not, then go ahead and set your passcode. Now, make sure your device is on the home screen, unlocked. We're going to run iDevicePair. It might give you this message here. We'll click Run Anyway. Allow access. And then we will choose our device from this little menu. Okay, and it is loading. Now we will click Generate. Now it'll bring up this little menu again. Just press Trust. Enter your PIN code once more. And you'll see it is loading. And there we go. So you'll see here that has an option to install to side store. So we're going to do that real quick. Now, while we're doing that, this would be a good time to download stick debug. So we're going to open the app store. We will search for stick debug. And the reason why we're doing this right now is because well, with iDevice Pair open, it'll actually allow us to import it directly into Stick Debug, which is really useful. So go ahead and continue there. Now, it will ask to allow VPN configurations. Go ahead and do that. Enter your PIN code once more. Okay. Now, you'll see it doesn't have a pairing file, but that's just fine. And our side store now says success. We're going to actually close this, reopen it. load the pairing file again. Now you can see that it has an option for stick debug. So we're going to press install here. And there we go. So now if we go back into stick debug on our phone, you'll see that it is uh, recognizing the pairing file and it's all ready to go. This is actually all set up now. So stick debug is pretty easy to set up overall. Now the next step for side store, we're going to go into the app store here and we're going to search for Stoss VPN. Just like that. We're going to go ahead and install that. If you don't know what this is, it's basically a VPN tunnel which connects the device to itself, um, which allows for the debugging to occur. So we're going to allow it to create a VPN configuration once more. And that's what it looks like when it's running. Now, what we're going to do is go into side store here. I'm going to click allow. Now, you're going to go into settings and sign in with your Apple ID that you used to uh, side, side load alt store initially. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, now it may ask you if you want to revoke your previous certificates. I always just say yes. Uh, it's never really affected me in any way. Now, it will ask you to refresh here. And then I always just press keep. Honestly, I'm not really sure uh, why you would not want to do that. Um, every time I press keep, it, has, it works every time. So um, just go ahead and do that. And then you'll see that your side store will start refreshing. If it doesn't, just go back in. Try refreshing it once more. Looks like it refreshed, so we are good to go. So now I can go ahead and sideload an application and I'll show you stick debug running. So I'm going to sideload this Mellow NX build that I downloaded. And it may take a moment for apps to install, but it should be going through. There we go. Now, something else that I want to mention here, um, your applications need to be refreshed every seven days if you're on a free Apple developer account. So to do that, you just tap on it or you can press refresh all. Side store should give you a notification if you're about 24 hours out from them expiring. So just make sure you do that. Also, you can have three applications open at once. That includes side store. If you want to 
uh, deactivate any to make room for other ones, you can just go ahead and deactivate. And you can see that it is marking Mellow NX as inactive. Then to activate it again, you just press activate. Remember to have Stoss VPN open and running when you're refreshing or activating or reactivating apps. So I have stick, stick debug open. Now, if you see this VPN tunnel error, you wanna make sure that you go into Stoss VPN and disconnect it because it can't be running while stick debug is running. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. We'll open up stick debug once more. And there we go. You wanna make sure all four check marks are here. If one of them's not there, then you did something wrong. Go ahead and connect by app, Mellow NX. There we go. And you can see here, JIT is enabled. Now, we'll um, have another video talking about this. I, If you saw my other video covering get more RAM and Mellow NX and you know how to do the increased memory limit, but that's a, that's a story for another video. Um, that's basically it. That's how you sideload applications and use JIT on iOS 26. All right, guys, that about does it. This is a very straightforward process, but if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, then please subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. You all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Peace.